Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Ratchet & Clank Future, a crack in time. Last time we ended up saving Axiom City from the VX99 and found a location of an obsidian eye. In this episode we're going to be jumping off to the Cortho sector, but one quick thing I should mention that I don't know if it's a glitch, a bug, or something. Every time you land at the Vila Depot, like land on the Vila Depot, the comet mission reappears. I don't know if that's like, like something you can do forever because they still give you 3,000 bolts and act as though it's the first time you've ended up doing the mission. If so, that's a good way to build up bolts, I guess. But where we're going, there's a better place to build up bolts. So why don't we head off now to the Cortho sector where we have ourselves a whole whopping 14 zoni. We have 16. If we get all 14 of them, we will have three-fourths of all the Zoni collectibles in this game. Yeah. So, let's warp to the Corthos sector. Alex believes the entire procedure will require approximately 183 paradoxes. 84 if the Blarg participate. Uh, sir, might I suggest we allow the Terachnoids to examine the chamber before testing the machine? That's the matter, Lawrence! Chicken? <laughs> Whoopsie, sir. Butterfingers. I just learned that the Lombaxes have destroyed the VX-99. Our sentries are searching for their vessel's signature as we speak. Unacceptable! I practically handed those squishies to you on a silver platter! How could you be so utterly incompetent? I'll leave you two alone. If Ratchet or the Elder find the clock, our plans will be ruined! Your body will remain crushed and abandoned on Zorik. Is that what you want? I'm bringing in specialists! Cassiopeia! Well, hello there. Karina! Bonjour. And Libra. Hey, how you doing? Valkyries! Decades ago, your colony was atomized in the era of a supernova. How would you like to have it back? Sonic Brainwave Scrambler scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was indeed cool. Orientation, rooms this way. Orientation room might be this way. Just use your helipad, sir. But what is this? Meet the teleporter for the great clock, where we can teleport to different locations. And guess what? There are different gold bolts in each one. So, let's travel to the Great Clock Sector 1. And here we are at the beginning of the game again. But, the difference is, I don't believe you can get the skill point that you are able to get at the beginning of the game. I could be wrong, but to my knowledge, every time I tried to get the skill point again, I was never able to get it to proc. But let us go here because there is a mini game that I hope it's going to let us play. Because technically speaking, I skipped the tutorial for it. But here it is the Descendu Planet Room. So, what is the purpose of the Great Clock? You might be wondering. Well, the Timekeeper's job is to correct time anomalies on planets. So you can repair time on planet Jacindu by playing a little mini game. Ribbon impact in three, two, one. Simply all you do, hit the L1 button, and hit 
Just hit the little things. Alright. As you can see, the time anomalies get stronger over time. You gotta get rid of the red ones. It's a really intense mini game. It's a lot of fun to play. And there we go. Complete planet Jacindu. Yep. And that's how we will go on correcting time. Beat Planet Jacindu. Little mini game, which is one of the harder ones actually to do. I'm surprised I did that first try, especially because I forgot how exactly to fire the button. But you get a gold bolt as a result. So, there is a trophy in this game for completing all the time anomaly mini games. We are going to be doing just that. As you can see, the Great Clock's got a lot of different planets around here. Almost as though it's got every single planet in the universe. This is why I love the Great Clock. Like, the implications of this machine are amazing. <laughs> Gotta repair everything, too. Alright. No repair in this room. But that's not the only reason why you go back to the Great Clock other sectors. Yeah, it just repeats the... The computer just repeats the different sonic stuff that the hypersonic brainwave scrambler was doing. I believe there is a teleporter at the end of this, so we can end up doing that. And as long as I fix everything inside the Great Clock, I can get that trophy. Which is what Roxas wants to do, because he is going for the Platinum in this game, after all. Alright. There we go. Do that. There we go. It's not as epic when you have robot when you don't have got robots chasing you and everything. Because after all, Nefarious did leave the clock. But not entirely, as we already know. Anything, anything to All right, so I think that's everything we can repair. Time activity detected in sector. I love how I said I think that's everything and I find two things that I need to repair. All right, do that, do that. There we go. Everything's nice and repaired. Yeah. No ma no matter the amount of times I end up swinging my chrono scepter, that's that's uh not going to get unbroken. And as you can see, 
you can't go through this door anymore. So yeah, you can't get that skill point anymore. Wait, no, the skill point proctors before this. That's right. So now that we're done with sector one, we're gonna go to sector two and show off what else you can end up doing inside the great clock. And this is where more puzzles come into play. Because while you can get some gold bolts from the Great Clock by completing the time anomalies, you can end up getting a more important Sir, one. You should try one of the challenges I programmed into your subconscious. Yes. We have challenges that Sigmund has programmed into our subconscious. With those, we can do fun puzzles to say the least. So, let's use the meteor pad. This is also your way of getting, you know, different skill points in case you ended up missing some on your first run. So I'm glad that they, they give the ability to backtrack inside the great clock because otherwise I'd call some major bull. I don't need more like one time only collectible type games. I'm looking at you, Bioshock 2. And Infinite, for that matter. Like, that was the most annoying part about those games, was that you couldn't backtrack at once you hit certain points. Okay, I just sort of clipped through there. We're gonna just ignore that. This game is perfect, don't you know? All right. And Custodian of Time. That's for repairing. Everything in the great clock, I believe. Could have sworn it was a trophy. Skill points. Brainiac's not what we need. Starting on time. Repair 50 breakable objects in the great clock. Okay. Wow, we already broke... Did 50? Wow. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. Oh yeah, bypass puzzle. Choosing this will allow Clank to bypass this puzzle and continue on, but at a price. That Tempo price is... In... You don't get bolts! In... You know me. Roxas loves getting bolts. Oh, you don't? You still don't get bolts? What's the price then? Still gonna repair things because my OCD is strong in this game. Everything must be clean and neat and tidy. Anything on this side that needs repairing? Don't mind me, I'm just the custodian of time. Repairing all the stuff, I'm the handyman of time. Temporal recording initiate. Alright. Temporal recording. I could bypass the puzzles, but why do that? That's boring. Temporal recording initiated. After all, this part's gonna be ending sooner than later. Because I'm gonna probably end it off after. Well, maybe after doing the puzzle. Don't entirely know. Okay, repair, repair. So, come over this way to where we got the Chrono Scepter. Repair the lights on the great clock. God knows I'm the only one that can do it. We almost have 50,000 bolts. And? Sir, you should try one of the challenges I programmed into your subconscious. Yes. So how do you access such programs? Well, all you have to do is go back to a mnemonic station that you have already visited in the past. Upon doing that, you'll be taken into a new special little time room with Orvis where you have little puzzle challenges for gold bolts. Which means Sigmund has stuffed gold bolts into my subconscious. What the heck? Hello, father. Hello, my son. I have nothing more to teach you, but if you're looking for a bit of fun, Sigmund designed a timekeeper's obstacle course. Care to give it a try? Sure, why not? Wonderful! And if you complete the course, there's a little reward in it for you. Ready? And 
All right. So first off, let's start with temporal recording initiated. Open this. That should be enough time. Open this. Whoa, got a little bit of pausing right there. Open this. And end the recording. Now we will use this. Temple recording initiated. All right, open the door for me. All right. I must say, it's quite tidy in here. Quite tidy indeed. You should see the inside of Sigmund's head. It's mostly cartoons and broken sprockets. That sounds kind of mean when you think about it. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. I screwed up. Well, I can fix... I can fix that one in a bit. Temple recording initiated. Now there is a skill point for getting um certain ones like doing one of these in I think it's 37 seconds. I think it's the last one. All right. I might have to do, redo the red one. Actually, I'm going to have to redo the... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to redo the red one for the timing. And the green one, too. If I could shave off a second, then I can get through that door just fine. A neutron walks into a bar and orders a couple of drinks. Before it leaves, it asks the bartender, How much do I owe you? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. <laughs> Temporal recording <laughs> No charge? Oh, science is fun. I love Charles Martinet, his Orvis. It's just too perfect. All right. Man, I'm getting a recording. Oh, Apple, I don't need this right now. All right. So, now we just re-record the red one. Temple recording initiated. All right. Almost screwed that up. There we go. And your reward is a gold bolt. Surprised I still remember that puzzle. And there you go. 
That's a gold bolt, which means we've done all the gold bolts for sectors one and sectors two. Well done, my son. You've earned your reward. Thanks, Dad. And there you go. That's all you need to do in order to get gold bolts. It'll be a little bit harder with some of the later challenges. But we'll be able to do it just fine. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This is Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to be heading into the Great Clock Sector 3 to do some more challenges. See you all next time.